This problem will help you revise exponential integral function. If you don't know about that function, uh, basically exponential function uh, of g is just integral from g to infinity of e to the power minus t by t dt. And from this definition, you can also easily prove this one. Uh, 1 to infinity of e to the power minus g t by t dt from some u substitutions which you can try yourself. You can just let uh, y equals to t by z and then you will see uh, this works. Now let's try, let's try to prove this integral. Uh, x to the power p minus 1 mm, u to the power ax. Now this is just 1 to infinity of e to the power minus ax t by t dt. Yeah. And over here there is dx as well. Now these are just constants, so it can be taken inside the integral. So in the world of t, these are constants. We can take them in and then interchange the integrals. Okay, one to infinity because that will simplify the process. So that's why p minus one e to the power a x e to the power minus a x t by t, and now we will have dx dt because we have changed the order of integral. Now notice that this integral is in the world of x, so I can remove by t and take it outside because it's just constant for the world of x. Now 1 to infinity of 1 by t integral from 0 to infinity of e to the power minus x times a t minus a x to the power p minus 1 dx and then dt. Now notice that this is just a standard integral. Yeah. Uh, basically, we have integral from 0 to infinity of e to the power minus st t to the power n dt as gamma n plus 1 by s to the power n plus 1. Yeah. So that's why this will be integral from 1 to infinity of 1 by t and then gamma p by a t minus a to the power p yeah and then dt now we can take some constants outside the integral like gamma of p also a to the power p these things 1 to infinity now 1 by t or t minus 1 to the power p now let us try to like ch uh, change the limits of integration to either 0 to infinity or 0 to 1 because uh, in these two forms there are many standard integrals that we can apply yeah. uh, for 0 to infinity we, what we can do is uh, just change t to t minus 1 yeah so uh, gamma of p by a to the power p and if we let uh, let's say uh, let's say if we let uh, y as t minus 1 now we have integral from the 0 to infinity 1 by now t will be y plus 1 and over here that will be y to the power p and then our uh, dt will be just dy okay now gamma p by a to the this a to the power p okay a to the power p now i can write this as 0 to infinity of y to the power minus p by 1 plus y dy now you can notice that this is just a beta function representation basically uh this over here this thing over here is just beta of m comma n yeah so that's why uh, you can say this as you can say this as beta of basically uh, 1 minus p yeah we can just add 1 to m minus 1 and then uh, basically over here we should m plus n yeah so if there's one minus p already uh, to make one we need p, p. now this is gamma p 
a to the power p so basically gamma p gamma 1 minus p by gamma 1 and from the reflection formula that's just pi by, by sine pi p and that proves now like over here if you want to take this to 0 to 1 also it will it will uh, work it will be just similar if we try to take this to 0 to 1 by uh, taking 1 by t to t or let's say t to 1 by t if we try the substitution u equals to 1 by t also it will work u equals to 1 by t if you do that uh, gamma p by a to the power p basically from 1 to 0 and then now u uh, u to the power p by 1 minus u to the power p minus 1 by u square d so we have gamma p by a to the power p now negative sign reflects the integral from 0 to 1 and then u to the power p minus 1 and then 1 minus u to the power minus p du okay so now this is just a gamma p by a to the power p now this is beta of over here it's p over here it's 1 minus p so again we get the same thing now gamma p by a to the power p pi by uh, sine p pi so we have solved this uh, using uh, both the ways basically i just wanted to show you like uh, maths will never give, give a different answer if you do it in different ways yeah it will be, it will basically always give correct answer and that's the beauty of maths as well and yeah so basically in this uh, video we uh, like exploited the definition of e that means exponential integral function interchange the integrals I used the gamma function integral representation and uh, made some substitutions to get the standard forms and then used the beta gamma formulas, two different beta gamma formulas and then solved the problem. So that was it. Hope you enjoyed the problem. Thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you in the upcoming videos too.